Hey, what's going on everybody? So Apple recently released macOS Big Sur 11.1 and with it comes several new features and improvements. So today we're going to be taking a look at everything new here in macOS Big Sur 11.1. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so first off we have the support now for AirPods Max. So that's Apple's new uh, headphones. It should be coming out sometime next week. So this brings support to your Mac for all the AirPods Max features such as the spatial audio, transparency mode, uh, the noise cancellation, the adaptive EQ, all those good things uh, that come with your new AirPods Max. So if you wanna use them with your Mac, you will now be able to. Next thing is to do with the Apple TV. So every Mac has the TV application right here. And if we go ahead and open it up, we now have a new Apple TV Plus tab up here in the top. So it's right here in between your watch now and your movie section. And this basically makes it easier to discover all your Apple TV Plus content if you are subscribed to it, of course. So we can scroll through here and see all the Apple originals, the latest releases, and all those things in here in one easy place. Now the TV search bar up here has some improvements also. So now you can browse by category and such as your genre and recent searches. And then also it'll give you suggestions as you type. So for example, uh, let's say we want to look for that new Tom Hanks movie. So that's called Greyhound. And you can see that it's giving us all sorts of automatic recommendations and there's the movie right there. So the new search function makes things easier to find and you can also see the new categories that you can browse here uh, as well. So if we want to go into comedy, it'll show us all the comedy movies and shows here on Apple TV. So search function has been greatly improved here in the Apple TV app on Mac OS. If we head over to our notification center and we go into widgets, we can now select a Apple News widget. So if we go ahead and click on that one, you can see that now you can do the today view, which basically gives you the top stories, or you could pick a certain topic. So if we go into our top stories here, we can choose obviously a small, medium, or a large widget. And if we go into our topic, we can do the exact same thing. So if I add in top stories and we can add in the topic as well, you can now have those two news widgets over here. We head over to our topic, of course, then we'll be able to choose which topic we want. So you can click right here. And then of course, it's gonna show you all of your Apple news topics that you have. Uh, so for example, let's say we wanna see some Tesla stuff. We can hit that and it'll automatically change to that topic for you. So pretty cool, uh, but you can now have the Apple News widgets here in your notification center. And of course, if we get out of here, then you can see the what they look like on your desktop when you open them up. So pretty cool. If we head on over to the App Store, we will now find the privacy information sections on apps. So if we head on into the App Store, we will now be able to find privacy information sections on app pages. So developers are now required to post or submit to Apple uh, everything their app may access about a user privacy related. If we go into 1Password and we scroll down a little bit, you can see that no details are provided yet. So whenever 1Password decides to update their app next, they will have to provide those details. So it's gonna take a little while for apps to actually get that, but some apps have already have it. So if I go into OmniGraph here, or OmniGraffle, and we scroll down, you can see that they have updated it. So this is data linked to you. It says the following data may be collected and linked to your identity, and it shows purchases and identifiers. And then you can click see details and it kind of describes a little bit more about it right here. And you can see that this developer indicated the privacy practices that below, and you can even click on some definitions and things. So if you don't understand uh, like what any of this might mean, you can check it out. So I think it's pretty cool, the privacy labels. 
uh, here on these and I tell you what some of these apps are going to be very interesting uh, to see what they collect about you like I'd like to see what Facebook's app <laughs> says on iOS or something like that but yeah new privacy labels here uh, will be rolling out very quickly as apps update but yeah that's how you find those in the app store now and if we take a look at the Apple Arcade there is apparently a new in-game dashboard within uh, Apple Arcade games and it basically just recommends new games to play so I guess if you're playing something uh, in that game it'll pop up and recommend hey you want to play these games uh, too but I don't have Apple Arcade so I'm not sure what that looks like but that's another new feature there another thing here with applications and this applies only to brand new M1 Max if you're using any iPhone or iPad apps on your M1 uh, Mac you're now going to be able to make those applications full screen and also be able to change landscape and portrait orientation so I know that was a big complaint I've watched a lot of videos uh, of people saying things like why can't I you know <laughs> change my orientation of this app or why can't I change the resolution and all that stuff so now you're going to be able to be, have a little more control about what your app looks like so that is a very nice new feature here in 11.1 .1. next up in photos so Apple Pro Raw is now available across all these uh, latest software updates so so if you have any Pro Raw photos you're not going to be able to edit those in the Photos app on your Mac so that's nice if we hop into Safari and we want to go to our preferences and then we can go to our search section we can now choose the new Ecosia I don't even know how to say that but you can now choose this new search engine right here so we can try that out here and there you go this is what that new search engine looks like and we go to their home page you can see that search the web to plant trees so a new search engine option for you here in Safari so that's nice to see and also speaking of the environment air quality is now available in maps and Siri for China locations and then also it's going to give you health recommendations in Siri for uh, several major countries including the US United Kingdom Germany India and Mexico at certain air quality levels so I guess if it's a bad air quality or something like that it'll tell you hey you might want to you know do this uh, to protect yourself from the bad quality air so that's another new thing here and then the last few things here are some bug fixes and security related issues so the bug fixes include QuickTime player so QuickTime player might have quit when you were opening a movie with a time code track after upgrading from macOS Catalina so just a little compatibility issue with Big Sur but that should be resolved now the Bluetooth connection status was not being displayed in the control center so if you went up here uh, you wouldn't see uh, your Bluetooth right here uh, being connected so that should be fixed there's also some people having some issues with Apple Watch unlocking their Mac so that reliability has been improved on some MacBook Pro models there was a trackpad scrolling problem so it may have been faster than you were expecting so that should be fixed and then finally the LG ultrafine 5k display may have been actually at 4k resolution on new m1 max instead of 5k so that should be fixed now so guys that should be everything here new in mac os big sur 11.1 let me know did i miss anything sometimes they toss some features in there you may not know about and also i'm starting to say this after <laughs> what happened with some catalina videos update at your own risk uh, I haven't had any problems but you never know when something might have some issues so instead of updating right away like I always do it may be a good idea to wait a few days and see if you know somebody has some issues that they come up on or maybe their computer gets bricked uh, it seems like the older Macs are the ones that have issues with these you know new software updates but anyways i just say that now update your own risk but anyways guys that's all i got for you today thank you for watching as always and i'll catch you all in the next video